Hi friends, this is Vetribel. This tutorial I will teach uh, how to export the data in data table to Excel. Okay, first what I do, uh, I need to create one data grid view here. So because viewing purpose, we will view the data grid view. So just track the data grid view here. Okay, I am to enable deleting, enable editing, and enable and check the those things. And what I am to uh, just I need to connect the data table here. So just uh, and double click the uh, form. So it will be go to the form load. So okay, here I have the one table. The table name is called shop DB. Okay, so I have one table also sorry database name called shop db table name is country so i need to connect this table here so first what i am do just using system dot data dot sql client here so now i am writing uh, sql connection con equal to new SQL connection inside connection I need to paste the connection path here so just I am right click the database and go to the properties in properties I have the connection string uh, so just and click the connection string put control A for selecting all the rows and control C for copy and RS just right click and copy here now I uh, just double inside a double quote I need to paste control V here okay that's it now I am using SQL data adapter SDA equal to new SQL data adapter SDA is here uh, variable name you can declare any name here okay so inside a SQL data adapter I need to paste the SQL query so so what I am do I need to press SQL query here so just double click here double quote and I am writing select so but viewing purpose I need to increase the size to 150 okay so anybody can view uh, easily so uh, select star from country C O U N T O Y country and the error will be show because I need didn't connect the connection here so just comma C O N so our connections so now we no error will appear now I am declare the data table here data table D T equal to new data table here ok now sda dot fill dt ok I need to link the data grid view data grid view one dot data source equal to dt so now I am executing the program so we will get all the rows all the data here ok ok we will I will show the definition table definition also here so this is bit different ok so uh, I need to show something I am putting the data another debugging mode in data grid view data source and click executing so the, the uh, runtime it will trigger it here now I am going to the uh, data table the move to the cursor move to the uh, mouse point to dt and we you will point out the some forms here here search option is there so you have to click search options so you will see the all the data you will see the table name is empty because only data only is available so we need table name here 
then you have to dt dot table name equal to because it will use us to uh, exporting data that time it will use so once I am stop the program and run once again now go so here you will see country here search option you have to click you will see the table name is country okay okay guys uh, now we try to export the data so the exporting data purpose I need to one button here add one button here so just go to common controls and track to the button here and uh, button right click the button and go to properties in properties I am writing to export export okay here I double click the export button here I am writing uh, nothing here I am nothing writing so I need to create one function here so void export Excel right spelling is correct. Okay. So uh, I will put one parameter. The parameter name is data table. Data type is data table and dt is enough. So this is our parameter. So what can I do? Uh, I'm just and copy the same code here. Copy and paste into the button one here I just remove those so now I am nothing to do after that uh, so okay we will write a code before that you have to add some reference here so go to the design view or oh, sorry uh, solution explore here in solution explore in reference folder is there inside reference add reference click the reference go to the dot net dot net here here have to choose microsoft microsoft rbis intrap dot excel this dll we need we need this project just you have to click the dll and click ok click ok then will it will directly add it to your project okay because we already added here so microsoft office interrupt so now you have to go to the project here so here you have to write the code before that i am already writing the some course here so you have to uh, copy so this is object miss value equal to system reflection missing dot value microsoft always interrupt dot excel application app equal to new microsoft obvious interrupt excel applications okay now app version is equal to false okay after that and copying the second two lines and paste it so microsoft abyss interrupt excel workbook wb equal to app workbook added into microsoft abyss excel xml template equal to worksheet here so okay and microsoft abyss interrupt excel worksheet ws equal to microsoft abyss interrupt excel worksheet wb this wb here wb active sheet active sheet because the here to go to excel so microsoft excel 2007 we installed this is sheet 1 is the active sheet the sheet 2 sheet 3 so sheet 1 is the active sheet so it will be triggered to sheet 1 ok uh, and header control c control v so header header means 
uh, first line will be triggered to header so we need header for this table so this is table showing the error because we declare the dt so we, we need to change the dt 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 columns dot count so how many columns is there so the table will be showing so dt cell cell 1 and i1 equal to plus so columns is column name so it will uh, trigger the column name is uh, like a header here okay so uh, so we declare the header here after that we need more so uh, we we need to loop the content also we need to loop the content also so here i am pasting the content for here dt 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 so how many contents is there the loop will be uh, automatically count the values and one by one it will be trigger the content so be, uh, why you here putting the two loops here first it will be a row count second it will be a column count sorry first it will be a column count so how many columns is there like that this is a row count like that okay how many rows is there okay so you have to see like that so after that here table name ws dot name equal to table name equal to dt dot table name so it will trigger the table name because we already declare the table name in here here okay so so this is a part this is a part we will declare the values so wb dot save us here d drive so which name you need i am just welcome dot xlx xls format so xlx is a world type 2003 excel format so i am putting xlx and the microsoft office interrupt the excel file format uh, excel worksheet book so you have to missing value so one two three four times you have to put the miss values and microsoft uh, interrupt excel uh, excel save as access mode dot excel exclusive exclusive and once again you have to put the miss value in five times here so uh, in properly you have to see the values then you have to i will reduce one now you have to put the comma here you will see the file missing 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 which uh, how many times the parameter will be recurred for this so the times you have to recur here i will miss value once again i will click the miss values here so so w b dot close equal to true miss value miss value two times and apps dot quite so i think it's done so now we will finally copy the uh, function name and paste the function name here you have to pass the data table dt here so i think is done right now just control s put the control s and run once again so the data will be here so we need to export the data and click the export button so we successfully exported i think so just you have to close or no need to close the file name i put welcome.xlx right so i am going to the d drive this is d drive welcome where is welcome welcome here is that just click the welcome so this is a header header here to see the header country id and this is a uh, country name this is a uh, country code this is active the true so you have to see the tables also 
see the programs country id country name country code and active so we successfully done those record so okay guys we will meet our next tutorial